one of the ways that, that I don't talk about as much, but is so important, is the physical aspects of treating addiction. <clears throat> now, this largely pertains to people who are already fitness freaks. So there's a whole group of people that come into treatment that their primary tool is the gym and eating well. For those people, they're not gonna get the same kind of relief from the gym beyond what they've already got. So it's, it's not an issue. They've already dealt with the nutritional and physical aspects of their neurophysiology, right? To whatever degree they have. But there's another huge group of people who have never paid attention to their body. And we know that traumas are stored in the body, memories are stored in the body. We know you can tell a lot about um, how a person is doing based on their body language and even their energy and their posture and their eye contact. So we know huge amounts of information is stored in the body. And we know that in order to have a full recovery, you have to take care of the body, meaning you have to be mindful and intentional about what you're bringing into your body, what you're eating, what you're drinking, um, and you have to be mindful and intentional of the physical activity you're engaging in to help reach some kind of something close to peak performance, something really healthy. Um, also, there are meditative exercises that exist. Um, I think particularly swimming, biking, and running, which is real rhythmic physical uh, activities that open up different emotional spaces um, that when we're in a deep depression, get locked in. You know, I, I've told a story about when I picked up bike riding on my first long bike ride, I just, I broke out in tears because there was so much emotion that was stored in my body. And until my body was moving in a rhythmic way, I couldn't get to it. So one of the big ways to relieve that stress and anxiety is to start to take care of your body more. Um, the way to do that well is you have to find an exercise routine that actually works for you. Um, I do biking. It's really hard for me to lift weights in the morning. And frankly, I don't enjoy it. And I don't like gyms. I like to be outside. So biking is great for me. I wake up early in the morning and I jump on a bicycle and it, it's an automatic warm up. I kind of ease into that exercise. And for me, it's great because I'm kind of like rusty in the morning and I want to pound weights, you know, and it's kind of this rhythmic meditative thing that just blows the thoughts and anxieties right out of my mind. But you have to find the exercise that's right for you and the physical components of recovery cannot be understated. It's not my area of expertise. There are people who know much more about it than me, but it's definitely worth talking about.